Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and it's nearing the end of May, which means it's time to round up the best new Android apps that were released over the last month. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Amazon Free Time is a new kids app. It boasts a collection of video content from big kids companies like PBS, Nickelodeon, Disney, and others. There is also a variety of books, games, and other content that's well suited for children. You can use the application's dashboard to list the age of your kid, and that way they can get content geared specifically for their age range. The subscription prices are a little complicated, however this is one of the few services that Amazon offers to people without an Amazon Prime subscription. Don't get us wrong though, it is cheaper if you do already have one. AMOLED Minimal Wallpapers is an application that describes itself. It's a wallpapers app with a host of minimal wallpapers and they are designed specifically for AMOLED screens. That means there is a whole bunch of black. The base application has a ton of fun minimal wallpapers and there are also donate versions that you can buy if you want wallpapers specifically designed for the S8 or S8 Plus or super high resolution. The free application should work in most cases though. You can also get the application even if you don't have an AMOLED screen if you just enjoy the style. Astro is a new email client that also has a chatbot. The chatbot will notify you about things, ask you if you want to unsubscribe from email lists, and a whole lot more. On top of that, the application boasts a snooze mode, quick inbox organization, personal reminders, and more. It's dealing with a few early issues, however, when it works, it works rather well. To be honest, this one still needs some work from the developers, thus it's best to file it away under apps to keep an eye on. AutoSet is a nifty automation app. It works by automatically turning functions on your phone on or off when certain apps are opening. For instance, you can have the phone turn Wi-Fi on when you open Netflix. It works well most of the time, however, some things like GPS and mobile data might require an ADB command to be run on your PC to make it work right. It's definitely a power user application more than anything, it costs $1.49, and it has no in-app purchases. Hannah Recipes wants to be the Netflix of cooking apps. It features over 400 video recipes made by over 45 talented chefs, and you can search based on your dietary interests, annotate written recipes with your own ideas, and add items to the shopping list that's built in. You can try it free for 30 days, but it does require a subscription after that. It's not ideal, but at least you can try it before deciding if paying for it is right for you. Socratic is an educational app. More specifically, it's an application that teaches you how to math. It works by using your camera to capture an equation. The application then pops up several pages of information on how to solve the problem. Generally, the first page walks you through solving the problem, while subsequent pages shows you the information and math rules that you'll need to solve it. It's a great application for students, especially the ones who have problems with math. It's totally free, at least for right now. Spot Angels is an application that remembers where you parked. It also gives you information on the parking rules in the general area. The central premise of the app is to help people avoid making mistakes that result in potentially expensive traffic tickets. It supports over 20 cities, but it's still useful even if you don't live in one of them. The application's secondary premise is to remember where you parked your car, and that works virtually everywhere. You can also crowdsource additional information by adding pictures and rules that the app might not already have. Stash for Reddit is an unreleased application in the Google Play Store. The idea is to download a variety of posts from Reddit in the background so that they can be read offline later. The current iteration downloads 100 posts and that includes images, GIFs, and videos. Future releases will include account support, subreddit selection for download, a time schedule, bandwidth limit options, and a whole lot more. It's not all that great just yet, however, you should definitely file this one under apps to keep an eye on. Task Z is like a light version of IFTTT. It allows you to program automatic actions based on the things happening on your device. It gives you a decent, if small, selection of commands to give. For instance, you can have it open a specific music app when you plug in your headphones, and then you can have it open a different music app if you plug in your headphones while you're also in the car. It's not the most powerful automation app ever made, however, it's far more simple than most of the other options. It's also totally free. We Do is a task management application that focuses a little more on groups. You create groups in the application, invite people into those groups, and then people can create tasks that everyone can see. It's great for small businesses, families, and stuff like that. You can also use it alone if you insist. It features reminders, subtasks, and you can create tasks that repeat, like taking out the garbage every week. It's still in beta in the Google Play Store, and those that try it should be prepared to find bugs. Otherwise, it's free, and it works pretty well. And that about does it for this one, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority and ring the bell to get the latest Android Authority videos as soon as they're released. And again, all of these applications are linked in the video description below if you want to check any of them out. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and have a wonderful day.